So one of the first questions I receive from art students is how to blend acrylic paints, especially when someone is wanting to make convincing skin tones and facial features. If you've had a history with oil painting, you know very well how the viscosity, luminosity, and slower drying time lend themselves to portrait painting. Acrylics can be challenging in wanting to achieve the same results. How does one approach this medium and make facial features to their satisfaction? Three things are very different about acrylic paint. First, it is a plastic base medium, and so the natural luminosity of oils is absent. Oil paint is just prettier. However, if your style in painting is in thin multiple layers, one can achieve a similar result. Second, acrylics dry a step darker than the liquid state. Therefore, one has to practice and develop the eye of how the dark paint is going to be when it deepens just a bit. I think I've had three unsuccessful paintings with that issue before that understanding kicked in. So, like many things in life, it's practice, practice, practice. There's no shortcut to experience. So, just jump in, like getting in a cool water pool. Learn to enjoy learning. The third aspect of acrylics is very applicable to this video. Acrylics dry rapidly. Now, depending on your geographic location, the speed of drying varies. But compared to oils, acrylics dry lightning fast. Some painters will mix up a spray bottle of glycerin available at over-the-counter at the pharmacy and water and spray the canvas as they paint. This does slow the drying time. But what I've learned and developed over the years is something a little different. I work rapidly with two brushes. You can see that approach in this video. The first small brush has the color mixed that I want to apply. The second brush is actually a worn down bristolette brush that provides a soft edge to the paint when gently brushed. The worn bristolette brush has been dipped in water and is squeezed out so it accepts the acrylic paint, but it is thin enough to blend the edge. In this way, one can make subtle graduations in the skin tones and achieve the gentle contours of facial features. I'm careful not to call this or other things I've learned techniques. The reason for that is if we get caught up in techniques, we can stop growing as an artist. We don't want to get ourselves in a rut. We learn and we grow, but don't click into a formula. It's important to keep growing as an artist if we want to have an impact in the way we communicate visually on canvas. So, to emphasize blending facial features, we use two brushes. The farther along in our painting we are, the smaller brushes that we use. Keep those worn down bristolette brushes because they come in very handy when wanting to blend the paint for seamless skin tones. Make sure the brushes, bristles have been dipped in water then squeezed out for the right application of paint that you want to achieve. So have you had a similar experience in blending acrylic paint? I'd sure like to hear about it. Please write a comment below. Also, if this has helped you to solve an issue with your painting, please comment below again and, and click the subscribe button. Thank you for listening.